A very good morning to you. Thank you so much for being part of this morning show. This is a Power Talk. My name is Ram Aguko. Thank you for sticking with Y254 TV, your number one youth station here. We're coming to you live from the Kenya Broadcasting Corporation in Nairobi, Kenya. We're also streaming live through our website. That's at www.kbc.co.ke forward slash Y254. We value your feedback. Engage with us. Of course, we appreciate your presence right here on Power Talk. Uh, uh, the hashtag, as always, is a Power Talk Show on Twitter at Ram Aguko and at Y254 channel. And of course, let us know where you are watching us from as we continue with this conversation. Head over to our Facebook page, like the page and uh, talk to us. Give us your thoughts in regards to this. Now today, we want to talk about handling breakups. What is uh, the procedure of healing? How do you, how have you handled your breakups? Once you broke up with your girlfriend or your boyfriend, how did you handle it? Uh, how do you go through that whole process of healing and heartbreak? And uh, at what point do you actually move on to the next relationship? Today, let's talk about handling breakup and, uh, and uh, you know, find out about, uh, about how, uh, you know, we need to, you know, help ourselves in regards to this i know somebody is heartbroken this morning we have uh, the medicine for you right here on power talk to my far right i am with alan lawrence joining me in studio he is a relationship coach coach and an author carlos and alan thank you so much for having me I appreciate your presence. Yeah, I uh, you appreciate. Can take them. You can take them. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. Uh, 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 and of course, next to me, I am with uh, Emma Njeri, a uh, 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 an actress, <laughs> and of course, a media personality. Karisana Emma. Thank you so much. You're well? Kabisa, kabisa. Of course, we value your feedback. The hashtag as always is uh, uh, a part of show at Ram Aguko and at Y. Two five four channel. As I say, let us know what you think about this particular conversation, uh, handling breakup. This is power talk. Let's talk about this issue. Let me start with you, Alan. Yes. You've uh, uh, written so many books. Yeah. Uh, no, no. The book is called what? Uh, Be before you think of dating. Before you think of dating. Yes. <laughs> Sasa. Yeah. 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 Because the reason why you wrote this book is actually to help somebody yeah. to avoid getting a heartbreak. Yeah, sure. And uh, I, I've perused through it. Yeah, sure, yeah. sure. Yeah, I, I've, I remember. I've, you remember? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've perused through it. <laughs> and uh, I, I, I love how you wrote it. But there is something that I want you to uh, say as an opening remark. Yeah. What are some of the common mistakes that people do that always end up with heartbreaks? Let's start from there one uh, the foundation of the relationship because mm. you realize that most of, most most people don't take time to cultivate the art of friendship in a relationship because uh, it reaches to a time whereby the romantic parts the romantic aspect of everything you're doing mm. it might cease but the the foundation if it is on the foundation of friendship it will yeah. make you even stronger together no matter what happens to what happens towards you mm -hmm. it will be what will be a cementing factor to ensure that the relationship continues remember the goal is not to have a perfect relationship and there is no perfect relationship at the end of the day we only have good relationships what is the goal the goal is for us to now to build a, 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 a friendship basis whereby now we grow together in unity, we grow together in purpose. Because at the end of the day, after all said and done, you will not be remembered for the, for the relationship you had, but the quality of the lifestyle you are going to have. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now, now, now you're saying the common thing that always makes people to break up is a foundation. Yeah. And of course, I want to find out just a tip yeah. of, of this. Yeah. What do you mean when you say the foundation? <laughs> what is it? foundation because some you know Ram, you'll agree with me at the end of the day uh is either you are in a serious relationship or you are yeah. the one treating the relationship serious because uh, -huh. uh maybe the goal you are looking at a point of uh, having a relationship with this person or you are looking at dating with this person but this person is looking at you as a commodity so you are trading they are only there after their own selfish interests. So but what is the foundation here the foundation here is not clearly defined because we've not defined who are we in this relationship Find out who you are first. Yeah. What you want to intention. Yeah. All right. Let me come to you, Emma. <laughs> uh, 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 do you agree with what uh, uh, Lord Alan is saying? And in your opening remarks, uh, also answer the same question I, I asked him. 
What are some of the common mistakes that every, uh, most, if not every person does, that we are sure of? Thank you so much, Ram. And I, I agree with you 100%. Because I believe everything that you, you do in this life, everything, mm. it has to do with your foundation. For example, I don't know when this building was done, but I can tell it was not done last year or two years ago. But this building has been able to, to stay for these all years because it had a good foundation. Mm. Because we, especially our generation, our age, we are getting into relationships with different reasons. Mm. Uh, for example, you find me, uh, now I want a boyfriend because my friend has a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. I want a boyfriend because my age means have boyfriends. I want a boyfriend because I feel I'm of age. I ah. want a boyfriend because... The society expects me to have a boyfriend at that at that particular time. Mm, so yes, lini, you know. So <laughs> so many people get into relationships with different reasons. Mm. And as he has said, the foundation. What is your foundation? And I'm sorry to say, but in our generation, we are taking the wrong. We are we are, we are starting on the wrong foot. For example, uh, Alan here, he has come to me. The first thing I look at, what how how is he dressed? What car is he driving? Mm. Where does he work? So now you see, already the foundation is wrong. Yeah. Mm. So for example, if I love him because of his suit, the day he will not have this suit, that means our love will end there. Because the foundation of our love was the suit. Mm. If I love him because of the job, the day he will be fired, that's the day that our love will, will die yeah. because yeah. I loved him because of the job. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if you have the wrong foundation, you cannot expect to have a good building. So mm -hmm. many people are not taking their time to build on the foundation. For example, uh, I can give you my example. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I think I was having this conversation the other day. And uh, when, uh, after, after I did my Form 4, many of my classmates got married. Immediately, like immediately, they got married. Like, like, they got how, kids. How, how long? Uh, since you did your yeah, we are almost 10 years plus no no so, I said how long did they uh, take they didn't after? even take even a year some even immediately I, actually there's a lady who just finished school <laughs> I think he just moved in with a boyfriend but my point is yeah. uh, uh, maybe uh, like 3 4 years later uh -huh. many of them right now they are single moms because they did not even take time also to understand themselves. You know, when you come from high school, you still you still have the mentality of a child. So you have not matured enough, and now you are now, and now you want to force yourself into adulthood of being someone's wife. The question is, have you been able first to lay good foundations of your life first? Because the moment I have an issue, I get into a relationship. Definitely, I, I'll go with my issues. But if I have taken enough time to to grow. <laughs> Actually, it starts with me. Mm. Am I ready for this? Mm. Have I, have I, do I have the capacity to handle the, to handle the relationship? Because it comes with a lot of, you know, it, it, there are a lot of responsibilities. So many people are not taking their time to, mm -hmm. to accept that I need time, I need to create a good foundation, mm -hmm. and I need to, to, for me to be able to grow to get into a relationship. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. also what I can say also, yeah, being a society yeah. where is what I can offer, and what you can offer. Oh, uh, so, so, so we have some form of uh, business agreement. Here. Yes, yes. Uh, what, are, what are you bringing on the table? <laughs> exactly. That, that's a recipe for a breakup. Exactly. Yeah, before we tell you about how to, how to handle, handle uh, a breakup, how to deal with it, we need to tell you the reason why you're actually in that place. Yes. Exactly. Correct? Yeah. yeah. Why are you there? Before you tell about the solutions, you do this, why are you there? So that you don't find yourself in that place again. Yeah. And then we have this conversation a okay. second time on how to handle a breakup in a different scenario. Yeah. Sidio, yeah. yeah. uh, 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 do you have any input in regards to what she has said? Yeah. She has said something very important, just to add on it. Mm. You know, uh, you realize that most of the people are getting into a relationship because of what they can get, their selfish interest. Yeah. And you realize, uh, I always use this example. Ram, today, uh, because you're on TV, most of the people, they are not real with you. They are just loyal to their interest of what they can benefit out of out of your position of who you of uh, like just because of who you are you that's, the, that's the human nature exactly yeah. so like when, now when we get into a relationship this person is not here for mutual benefits mm. they are just here because uh, the security and the glamour that comes 
with them dating you with them just being associated with you mm -hmm. the question begs after all the, the things that are attracted them if those things are stripped off from you will they remain loyal unto you now let me find out this yeah. um there is somebody who is at broken right now and they are asking themselves this question yeah. what did i do wrong <laughs> <laughs> and, and 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 i know i know ladies always uh, i've seen this common with ladies i don't know if men also go through this if there's yeah. a man that goes through this maybe you can let me know yeah. but i know mo mostly it is the ladies who go through this where they they are the ones who are, who ask the question yeah. what was my mistake where did i go wrong why should i go through this <laughs> Huh? Alan, yeah. your thoughts on that? Uh, you know, uh, just before even that, you realize that uh, at the end of the day, a relationship affects, in most cases, ladies. Why? Because a relationship is not a, a man thing, because we are more of vision-oriented. We are more of work-oriented. So you realize that a lady will be more, uh, very much attracted and very much attached to a relationship. Mm. That is why today uh, you get to a place, you give a lady a chance to introduce herself. She will say, I'm a, uh, I'm a mother, I'm a, uh, I'm a wife, and all those kind of things. But mm. a man, you give them a chance, they'll be, I'm the CEO here, this is, this is and what I do. <laughs> so you realize. So it is a question of, uh, you realize that a lady invests a lot into a relationship. And that is why it paints a lady in most cases. The lady will rather be, be heartbroken by a bad guy other than a good guy from the very onset. Because you've been treating this person nicely. What has just suddenly changed? So the, uh, the lady, uh, especially in this scenario, uh, a lady will be like, after all my emotional investment, after all I did, everything and anything to ensure that the relationship works. But this person ends up disappointing me. And uh, you know, because of the investment and because of what they, are, they have been really, really investing emotionally into mm. the relationship, mm -hmm. it really breaks them down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You guess. No, but, but still, um, um, you, you, what should a lady do when they are in that position where they are asking themselves Self, yeah. the question, what did I do wrong? And they, no one is answering that question. One, one uh, the first thing is accept that uh, it happened. And you are not the problem because if you let uh, you let your identity be pegged on the relationship, uh, at the end of the day, people are fickle. They might end up disappointing you. So the thing is, uh, get into yourself, get uh, attached more with your vision, with your life purpose. Understand that a relationship does not define you. You are the one who gives a relationship a definition. Then at the end of the day, sit back and introspect yourself. Tell yourself maybe. Uh, it didn't work because uh, there are some things I did wrongly so that you can be able to move forward. Because if you, you still live in denial that, that this thing did not happen, mm -hmm. you will not be able to move on. Yeah, yeah, uh, Emma, Emma uh, and do you agree that ladies are the ones who always go through this more than the men? They ask the questions, uh, why I me? What I, did I, wrong? I think we all go through the same. Okay. It's only that men don't really talk. Yeah. Mm. But women, we, are, we, we talk. We, we share, we, we bring it out here. But uh, I think something about women, uh, speaking out of experience, mm. uh, when we love, we love. Ukipenda, umependa. Ukipenda, roho, yani umependa, yani umependa. So we give it our all. Mm -hmm. And most women, and this I'm, 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 I'm you know, I'm <laughs> sort of experience. When you love someone, and you are ready to give everything that you have. Mm. And now if it's not being given back, now that's now where the, 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 the problem. Yes, now mm. you get trained. Because you give, you give, you give, you give, and you're not you're not receiving anything. So at, at some point now you will be drained. You will not have anything to give anymore. Mm -hmm. So and the question of why me, I think I asked myself that I think I have shared my story here and I, I asked myself that question, why mm. me? Why me? Yeah. But now yeah. that mm. now I am where I am today, I can never ask why me. Mm. Because I believe God cannot allow me to go through something that he knows that I don't have the capacity to handle it. Yeah. And sometimes when you're going through that breakup, there are things that you don't see. Mm. That time nothing makes sense. Your time at we two as Junani, I couldn't anointing or anoint. You don't, anyone you know, everybody, they don't, they don't know what they are saying. Yeah. But later is now when you start realizing, wow, it was worth it. And I'm talking this out of experience. I'm telling you the truth, Ram. Yeah. If I never had, uh, if I never left the other guy, or rather, if he never left me, maybe I would have been dead today. 
So looking back, mm -hmm. imagine I'm happy, I'm grateful that he did what he did. But also I'm proud of myself that I was able to do what I did. For somebody who, 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 who doesn't know um, what's, what you're talking about here, Emma has been heartbroken before. Yeah, so this is for somebody who's talking about it from experience. And right now as you speak, she's married. Yes. So, uh, huh? you know, I, I, I actually I'm really proud of myself that I was able to do all that I did for him. I want you to, Even to tell if, us, uh -huh. in, in a nutshell, um, that point in time when you asked yourself the question, why me? What had happened for somebody who did not hear your story, who doesn't know your story? The reason why I got to a point of why me, it's because I was in a relationship where I loved a guy, where I gave my everything, to a point where I had to refer in college to give him some, you know, financial boost for him to, to complete school. Mm -hmm. To a you, point you where, stop your yes, own yes, my life, so. I was working, I, I was paying <laughs> his rent, I mm. was helping the mother and the kids because the mother was a single mom. And that was, to me, it was personal because I've also been raised by a single mom. Mm. So for me, it was, I was doing it because I knew how it felt mm -hmm. to be in that position. Mm -hmm. And there is nothing as... Okay, we, women, we are, we are always enticed by what we hear. So this is a guy who is promising you a future every day. Like, babe, don't worry. I know today we are going through this, but tomorrow I have these dreams. Will be, you, know, you know, it used to encourage me. It, it, it at looks least, big. Yeah, even if you, you have these challenges right now. Mm -hmm. But I know after several years we'll be in a good place. Now, wait now until uh, the time now that I knew he was still with his ex. I'm like, what have I not done? Imagine to, to a point, the mother is calling you, what are you miss? Now the, the brothers and the sisters, and you're there 100%. And then later, he chooses his ex. It's fine, go to your ex. But now the damage he left in my life, I lost my job. Mm -hmm. I lost everything. I had to go back to, 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 uh, to my mom's house, and I stayed there. At like, school? Uh, later. When, when he was going back to the ex, like now, because in life, I'm like I'm stuff or what happened. Imagine he was still in the same situation. I don't even know what was happening to him, because even the ex said he was a job. I don't even know what was going on. So I was I was trying to weigh between me and this ex and him. The moment to answer, could you just go in and say, "I'm not I'm support. I'm not I'm But I realized all that was happening because I needed to learn something. There is a lesson that was coming with it. Yeah, sure, sure. Because I, 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 went, I went back home. I stayed with my mom. By the time I was coming back to Nairobi, I was a different person. I was not the same Emma that left Nairobi. Mm -hmm. I was very, very different person. Because I started now learning how to love me. I started, love, I started learning how to care for me. Because I was giving everything to him. I, I, at some point, I even forgot about myself. But when I went home, I had time to reflect on my life. And I thought, hey, you need to love yourself more. Exactly. You need to treat yourself well. And I'm telling you, Ram, when I came back, uh, I got another job. I started working. I used to treat myself like nobody's business. Wow, wow. Hmm. Just to add on what you're saying, because you've just brought a very good dimension whereby if you love yourself even more, you will know what you really want in a relationship. You'll, by the time you're getting on that table to bargain about what you want, you really know. Because at the end of the day, I've said this, most of the people are using a relationship as an escape plan from their own self. So you compound your own responsibility towards another person. The happiness you cannot be able to give yourself, you cannot be able to get it in a relationship. So the quality of the relationship is fully pegged on how you love the person in the mirror. So it reaches to that point as an individual, no matter even if you're going through a heartbreak or not even going through a heartbreak, make it a point of loving yourself even more. Take yourself out for dates. Validate the person in the mirror. Because today, if you are not going to validate the person in the mirror, remember you need to be very much careful of what you are speaking because at the end of the day you are hearing it so if you cannot tell yourself that you love yourself no person can be able to quantify and tell you how wow. they love you accordingly the, 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 this is an amazing uh, conversation that you're having tell us what you think about this particular issue here handling a breakup how, what is your experience and how did you handle your breakup and are you going through a breakup and you need help we are here to you know we can help in a way or two 
Huh? Lawrence is here, Emma is here. <laughs> what you'll get out of really, I, I really feel like I'm in their shoes. I have pictured it like a movie in my yeah. head, and I feel like meeting that guy and telling them where, okay. where. <laughs> now, I want us to talk about the issue of finances. Relationships are all about investments. And now, when you invest your money, and you end up feeling like you lost it or you wasted it. Um, how do you handle that kind of a position, that kind of a feeling where you feel so broken that you wasted your money? There is somebody who traveled. I'll talk a few wapi and kuja wapi. Emma, will you leave a school fees? Will you school fees? You might leave, will you leave a Huh? Rent. Rent, school fees, nini. Uh, how, how do you handle uh, that? Let me come to, to, to Emma and then Alan. Uh, 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 I think uh, the moment we talk about finances in a relationship, that's now where our society is sinking every day. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, if you look at the relationships that were broken during the COVID time, relationship. <laughs> there is someone, as, as he said, he, there is a point he gave and he said, there is someone who just loves Ram. Yeah. And mm. they believe because of the TV, you have pesa. Mm -hmm. You know, you have mentality. You have pesa. Ah, Ram has a car, you have pesa. So there is that mentality of people like with, they look at you, they, they define, you have a this hotel. So they define you according to that. But the question is, mm. how many will be with you the time that you have nothing? Even friends. Ata wacha tu relationship, ata tu mabeste. Ata family members, nagani wataku support the day they know that kabisa kabisa rama hana kakitu. You know the problem is, your time yenye hauna kitu, ndo unataka pesa hapa pale, you don't even know who to call. Exactly, because even if you call them, you're not sure whether they are still your friends at that particular time. But I know I have not been married for long, but I can tell you, money, actually, when now you are you're with a sober person and when you're sober, would I realize money makes a very small percentage kwa marriage at a relationship. Do you know that kwa hamuna anything? As long as the two of you are true to each other and you're happy, you even forget that you don't have money. I can give an example. Before I got married, I, I actually I was sharing this with my husband. Anytime a guy would approach me, and the first thing you're telling me is about your job, it's about what you do. For me, that for me that was a turn off. Una, how to mm, Mimi, by the by the, the moment you start with that, we are done. What if you ask? Una, what do you do for a living? Ama, what do you do yourself? I breathe oxygen for a living. That's me. That's how I used to. <laughs> I breathe oxygen. <laughs> you know? Because we, are, we, are, we live in lives where it's your bank account that is talking on your behalf. There, 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 there is a pastor I love listening to, and it was a pastor T. And there was a time he was saying, squeeze other two candidates. Nimi ka dem nukujeni madress in a certain way. Kukusho, I have I have represented my body. Na wewe kona walete how much tutakula, how much leo. That is the the society that we are living in today. But how many can you tell today? Umambia sina hao, sina gari, sina anything, but I love you. What do you do when you invest money in somebody and you feel like you wasted it all and it is breaking you every single day? Uh, at first, when I invested, I felt like I lost everything. But as I continue maturing, you know what I told myself? That was just charity. <laughs> because at, a minute, at some point in life, I've also been helped. So I turned that around. For my sake, not for him, at some point but in, for in my your sake. Life, somebody also did charity. Not really charity, <laughs> but... Um, I had something. Yeah. Okay, to be honest, yes. everybody... Kila mtu amesaidua kwa life. Yes, sure. Kila mtu amesaidua kwa life. Before COVID, most of us were, we were stable. So when COVID came, most of us were quite unstable. And somehow someone came in and helped us. A so for me, I, uh, I appreciate that. Mm. So that me will say, maybe at the time, the time that I was helping him, it's okay. I was just helping just a normal human being. But it did not come easily. It had already hurt me. He had already left me in a mental hospital. I almost went mad. But imagine I count all that joy. Because if I did not go through that, today, sing a corner my husband. Mm. 
you know it, it, it is what has led yeah. you to where you are singe kwa na yeye and cuz what ni kwambia ram any nowadays i look back have ever looked back and said hey man say god i keep things kinja makil ni heart Mm. But but your moment when you're going through it ah you know say it's only makelele mtu akupiga tu kelele kwa masikio yako but the moment now you get to a certain place in life you know you start seeing now what you have been able to achieve even you mature mentally by that nikwambia tu kweli size ram sasa ni ngumu sana msiani heart it is very difficult for someone to hurt me so right now because size is eh na kama ni chapo hiyo develop so size is yeah nili grow yeah <laughs> so you grow a, a, a thick skin yeah. you you yeah, grow yeah, you know yeah. life uh, in a ko harden uh-huh. so right now it is very difficult for someone to hurt me yeah. no. I, unless okay I, I i'm not saying that i cannot be hurt but i cannot go back where that guy left me Pain. Says yeah, I cannot go back there. But, but, but then still on you, Emma. Then I come to you, Lawrence, and then you, re, you respond. Yeah. Will you ask for your money back? Nope. Lawrence, time. You respond now. So now the thing is, uh, mm. at the end of the day, uh, the foundation. People tend to run away from this reality. The aspect of finance, the way she's saying, is very, mu- very much important as far as the, rela- the relationship is concerned. Why? Because you need to have this discussion from the very onset. Yeah. Remember, finances play a role in 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 uh, in romance. When I say no finance without romance, it's quite generation size. So we cannot run away from the reality. So the thing is, you realize in most cases. The reason as to why after investing heavily in a person the moment this person tends to heartbreak you it it really weighs you down why because to some extent we are doing this thing as if we are buying loyalty yeah mm-hmm. so you, 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 you want something in return yeah. so you spend money exactly so you you're doing this uh, hoping that this person will remain loyal unto but, you but, but but money cannot buy you love exactly it cannot but it can only facilitate love <laughs> you want to come back again selector <laughs> money cannot buy love but it can facilitate what do you mean love? by facilitate as in truth be told kama saizi hata kama unaenda out and and all those kind of things in order for you to impress somebody in this generation let's be realistic mm. let's be very much realistic in my generation now you need money we need money we need to spend something at the end of should the day should you ask for this money back Useme I, I I spent money on you. Najua kuna mtu mwenye anaumia saa hizi mm. wametuma long messages pale. Mm. Uh, I can't believe I wasted money on you. I love that is when they called you a gold digger because mm. uh, I know the uli 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 mtumia pesa, ulitumia fare, ukatuma rent, ukatuma pedicure na saloon na manicure, ukatuma pesa siyo ya kulipa ya, ya, ya nyumbani, ukatuma pesa ya shopping. Kila kitu ni umetumia pesa di school fees. The thing is uh, you realize it is a question of uh, the foundation mm. when you are doing all these kind of things did we have a discussion about this that this is the boundaries these are the limits so remember there are no there are no bad people in relationships it's a, a question of the foundation what mm. was the foundation when you are doing all these things what was the intention what was the motive behind all these maybe unajua ramu unaweza kuona jaribu kusaidia mtu and this person does not need your help you will end up wasting your time Unaradhania huu mtu akokuwa shimo unajaribu kumvuta but in reality this person is very much comfortable very much comfortable there you try to think that we are working as a team kumbe ni wepe kako huko pale unajidate mwenyewe so you realize it is so uh, whenever some mtu anakuona as a commodity mtu anakuona as a source they can be able to manipulate you they can be able to use your love against you because you realize i don't know the story but you realize that person to some extent they were manipulative and akin be kwanza they tend to fast track the process at a introduce even to the family who i saw that you feel so much secure who mm. feel and, and as, uh, as a matter of fact ladies uh, tend to to give more when they, whenever the environment is so much secure and futuristic promising them mm. that kind of a person is for you now to sit them down and ask them do i feature anywhere in their plan even don't ask for a long time even five months alone if you don't feature anywhere do not go ahead investing into them and the thing is do not even debt potential the way you are just saying umsel kona ku promise at you tomorrow this thing the reality yes we tend to debt potential but also check on their patterns whenever they have been doing their projects how has it been usikaitu na marriage when you mean by pattern Are you saying that we should also ask about their previous or past relationships? No, like and get a pattern from that too. 
by the way most definitely for example like uh, today let me say i have more than three baby mamas then i approach a lady nimwambia like i want a long term relationship what makes you think that you are special as a lady more than those people you need premium tears na kujia exactly so, so, you, so somebody who has three baby mamas don't uh, even two Cause, what makes you think you are special you right. get I, 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 i want us to take a break <laughs> Nime, uh, um, the director is on my neck timothy is on my neck today uh, but we've posted a question on our facebook page where we would like in a breakup ama una una oga una una rudi soko rak ni nairobi ajo una like in a breakup ama una oga una rudi soko that is the conver- that, that's a question that has been posted on our facebook page at una rudi soko so you come in here basa be ameko you sorry hapo to talk to us um, uh, we shall sample your feedback after we come from this break uh, drop in your comments on our facebook page and of course uh, let us know where you're watching us from alan Lawrence is here in studio ladies and gentlemen and of course uh, 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 also Emma and Jerry joining me today in this particular conversation we are taking a short break we'll be back in a bit keep it power talk why 254 imagine Handling breakup is the conversation that we are having today right here on Power Talk. My name is Ram Aguko Iferu you're just joining us. We want to talk about how we can be able to sell to to help each other. You know, uh moyo we na umia sana. Sana sana wakati wa mapenzi. And that's why we are having this conversation today. I'm with Alan Lawrence ladies and gentlemen and of course uh, Emma and Jerry joining me in studio today uh giving us their experience and their thoughts in regards to this and as I said earlier on you can give us your thoughts about this particular conversation head over to our facebook page to mauriza paliswali on our facebook platform and of course that's at y254 to moza pale yo kama wewe hudi laje na break up ama uta utaoga la furudi urudi soko tena utaoga urudi soko you know by soko we mean of, of course urudi kwa market and uh, uh, that's a question that we are uh, asking this particular thursday morning Timothy ziko tayari you can bring them up and of course um uh let me read this is a uh, racha uh, that is a uh, Jacob Kilonzo anasema this is hilarious uh, this must and opata anasema time is a healer uh, and of course Angel uh, Angeli Muroka anasema hata soko aturudi tunatafuta wale client tuliambia nitakupigia baadaye Alex Masika sino anasema following from Ki <laughs> Kariara itanga Muranga County and of course Solomon Washira anasema na nikumbusha sijahil bado pole sana solo pole sana of course uh, Russia Jose pale na kuona anasema count me in no idea on how to deal with this cause sijawahi uh, break up uh, Cynthia Kerry uh, let me just read a few more of, of, of your comments coming up your way uh, Cynthia Kerry anasema na jipea break up summaries and write uh, uh, s- Najipa break up summaries the right and wrongs ili ni nilifikiria kurudi kwa game ama amochiful am, am eh was a guy is punctual aha uh, it's bashke yana sama mimi hata niliachana nayo hizi vitu ni stress huyu ni uh, ojoka kutoka Jerry Sia County asante sana Uh, Frank Rogan and Sam hello I'm Frank watching from Meru there is this girl we used to date almost two years just to that idea hapa na tayari nishaona kuna maneno Sindala yeah so there is this girl we used to date almost two years but one day she asked for a breakup and uh, ili niamini kabisa anadai breakup alinitafutia dem but after a few weeks alini text aka ni show she did that unknowingly but i don't want to go back to her cause she really broke my heart and i used to go I, I, and i used to do the same emma said she did what can i do to forget her cause she all, she's always in my mind emma uh, you can you can respond to this is uh, frank morgan and watching from meru first of all paul sana frank 
but I think uh, the part of forgetting you might not be able to forget yeah. but ask yourself what lesson can you take from that and how can you use it to help you grow more but I love that uh, when the lady left she now wants to come back but he said no because on a manga once beaten twice shy, shy. But, but, and but, there but is a, the lady brought him someone else but that and uh, then later on regrets but I wonder also him, how could he accept the other lady Monyani later appear? He is also contradicting himself, Napia Monyana ji confused. But the point is, if if some but again I'm also proud of the lady who just said I need to do this and walk out. Because instead of hurting someone, it is better you walk out. And again tell them why you want to go but don't you know in nowadays we have we are so good at using the block button or the blue ticking uh, and stuff yeah, yeah. but if if you not feel you are not uh, you're not happy with someone it's mm -hmm. always good to let them go they, right. sometimes they say if you love something let it go set it free mm -hmm. instead of kushika mtu nanajua maybe you have someone else right. but maybe what i can tell frank mm -hmm. uh, first of all he did not even take time i can tell for sure he doesn't love the other girl because his heart was still with this girl. And the, you cannot tell me that Utasha now you leo na kesho uko na I know there is this joke going around kuoka kurudi soko. But the reality is I hurt people they hurt others. Mm. If I leave one relationship because I'm hurt, I go to the other one. Definitely I'm going to hurt the other person. So should she should should he actually leave both ladies now? Yeah, I think he needs time for himself. He needs time because he will end up again hurting this other lady who may be innocent in this case right. and they end up come hurt. Oh, okay. Uh, Alan, yeah, maybe you, you can respond to a, a, a fellow brother. <laughs> Men's conference in Akuja next year. <laughs> okay. You need, Frank, you need to understand that nobody just wakes up and leaves you instantly or breaks you instantly. They broke up with you long time ago. They were just looking for an opportune time so that they can be able to manifest unto you that they have, uh, they have moved on. Now, the thing is, uh, the the way Emma was just saying, take time to validate and love the person in the mirror more so that you can be able to know what you really want out of a relationship. Because mm -hmm. just like now, you'll be sleepwalking. You, if you get into this relationship, you will be hurting this lady. And yet this lady did not at any given time hurt you. So do not end up bleeding on a person who did not uh, hurt you. So take some time off concentrate more, uh, love on yourself so that you know what really works for you and what does not work for you. Do not let a person push a relationship down your throat. You are, you are so mature to know what you want and what you need in your life. Some KE and some heartbreaks in this generation, Nikita, we should take as a part of life. So loving too much will lead to a bigger heartbreak. So always leave a big room for heartbreak no matter how uh, uh, big the love is. And uh, that is some watching from Huruma. Do you agree with that? Not, not really. Uh, you know, loving people more than the idea they have about themselves mm. will end up making them even rebel the kind of love you're giving them. Because this person does not have a, a, a personal uh, value system for themselves. So if you tend to love them beyond how they think they should be loved, they will rebel your love. That is why they will tend to do a lot of things that will cause a lot of pain unto so, you. So you're saying, ukipenda mtu unapenda kidogo? Not kidogo. <laughs> for lack of a better terms. <laughs> because if you love them too much, they yeah. rebel. And you know, it is a question now, it boils down to one thing. What is their love language and what is your love language? And where do we meet? Because Ram, today, if your love language is quality time, no matter how, how, how many gifts I can give you, it might not make sense unto you. But kuna mtu mwenye mekua hati broken after spending alipenda ujama sana. Emma, you said it. When ladies love, they love kabisa. They love kabisa. Yeah. The thing is, that is why uneza kuona love. It's just like Ram, today unakimbia. Ama, it's just like climbing a uh, wrong mountain successfully. Yes, you're on top of there. But now, it is not your mountain. What I'm trying to say is, you need to understand what is my love language? How do I perceive love? And how do this person perceive love? So that we can be able to see if I'm giving them enough love or if I'm, I'm doing it overboard. Okay. The same way I'm just saying, uh. even if your love language is quality time, other than you can buy gifts, out on any kama yo kituna, Emma, you thought of that? Um, you love, like, you give room for heartbreaks. I think uh, that's a wrong. Yeah. It's a, it's 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 wrong. 
And uh, as much as it is wrong, that is what is happening in our society. Uh, and I was having a conversation. Happening. Yeah, I was uh. having a conversation with my sister, and we were. I was telling her how uh. nowadays we have this group of women, independent women. You know, we can do without <laughs> without these men. Uh. There is also a group of men, while my senior bachelors. You know, senior bachelors. So nowadays, we come to Kwambia. Mimi are married, but na kwanga one leg inside. In case kikiumana, I'm out. Let me tell you, it starts from the mind. Exactly. So the uh, moment we get in a relationship, I'm in marriage with one leg inside. It's like we are on your mark. Like anytime you can, you can go. I'm telling you the truth. You'll start seeing those things. Exactly. You start you, getting you know, the you, reasons. You are dating, but you are. Yes. Apal, so, eh. Mark time. No, no. In case kitu ifanyike, I, I, I had room for heartbreak. So now, no, 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 now in case kitu ifanyike. Now the moment you are like this, yes. that in yes. case yes. it will happen. <laughs> and the moment it happens, you'll be out. And it when you are man. out, you have had someone else who had given their all to be in that marriage and in that relationship. But now look at it the other way around. Uh -huh. What if I get into marriage wholeheartedly? Like like an example, I just got married the other day. You know what, I, sometimes, uh, some, okay, there are always, let's say, I'm not going to marriage. But sometimes, so I'm going to check it out, I'm going to be married, I'm going to so we kasirika, ufanye nini? Like at the end of the day, we in the still same house. So kaka utai kuniona. That is your problem because you will have to see me that day. Lazima tukule, lazima nila, lazima nilale. But kuna ule mwenye, ya kwa laiko, ya nichune tu. Like I'm seeing this joke that is going around about uh, the, the aspirant igad. There was a, uh, alikuwa mefanya hivi mkono. Then the Kenyans were putting a meme. Ati mkini kasisha tu kidogo na resign. So that's how many of us are in marriage. Eh? Nichune tu kidogo tu hivi ni, ni Jikate. So uh, to kwa marriages with the wrong with the with, with, with the wrong motives and the and the wrong mentality. Right. And also I'm sorry to say but many ladies and also men, we have we have we have uh to make wa, to na adore our jobs too much and money we have. Let me tell you, as he said, money will never give you love. Yeah. Money will never give you children. I'm sorry to say. You need a man. But anyway, you it, know, is, it is true. The things money will... Let me tell you, Ram. For example, and I'm sorry to say this, we have seen very wealthy men dying. We are billions of money out here. So if money was that powerful, we are going to die. So why, why, why do we really... We need to worship pesa sana. We need to worship to the sister mana kwa marriages and relationships. Look at our parents, for example. Their marriages, by the way, were based on nothing. On in mona ka kamsera na apoka mama flani, and they get married. Wana kaka kanya mbaka nyasi, and sayo na skena celebrate fifty years in marriages. Mm. But for us, simply because those are umesoto me niambia let's move from one bedroom. We go to a bed sit until we na kambi eh let me first go to my mother's house. Okay, mm. manage. I will come back. Yeah. That is the society we are living in today. But how how about now we start doing things the other way around? Mm -hmm. Why can't we accept? the reality of life. Why can't we accept who we are? Because this is what I say. Kama sezi kumari jwauna pesa, please don't marry me because I'm not going pesa. Let's also be the other way around. So women, let's also mature up. You say you cannot marry a man without a car. Baba yaka kona gari. Let's start from there. It took your father 60 years to buy a car. Maybe Baba Kwako, even his 70s, a gari. And you're expecting a 25 year old to have a car. Are you even serious? Yeah, Baba Kwako. your father ali rent a house, maybe Baba Kwako, 50 years. We want to talk about 28, I know Kwako, you are not you even being realistic? But now there is the social media life that we see. There is the. That is the, the, the life that people have created. But I'm sorry to say, but kwa ground, it is different. Exactly. Uh, uh, one, we, we need to all accept that uh, found, uh, if relationship is on the foundation of feelings, feelings come and go. Feelings are very much fickle. Relationship is a commitment. We are committing towards a fulfilling a common agenda. We are all of us focused on one vision. If it is marriage, we are working out this thing together. It is us united against the world. But if we let other things come, it will break us apart. Iyo kukosana and all those kind of stuff, it should be there to strengthen your relationship, not to break you apart. And akuna mamba ya kusama kwa relationship, I'm 50-50. It's either you are there fully or you are or, out. It's either you are in or you are out. Okay, I'm... Um, I'm seeing, <laughs> I'm seeing so many uh, questions on our social media hand, yes. uh, handle, but first I want us to go back to uh, our, fr our friend Frank yeah. from Meru. Yeah. I'm a sema, I'm a comment. Yeah. So, I'm a correction, please. 
that the lady she brought hakumkubali okay. she didn't accept her okay okay yeah so i'm saying that the lady she, she brought she didn't accept her yeah uh but later on she came back to say i am sorry and i'm tak be, be very much careful of uh, if you forgive an ex why why should because already this lady is an ex frank mm. this person understands you are you are weakest point this person understands your strength mm. this person will hurt break you when you least expect because what is so unique about you anenda and arudi because ajamaliza have, 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 have accomplished the mission so for me frank my advice is drop it like it's hot without apologies to make. all right Let's go to Miriam. Miriam Wanjira Mwangi anasema this is Miriam my question is uh, niko na husband and we are married mm. but every time tukikosana he insults me until you think you are in hell does that signal there will that there will be a breakup one day First of all uh, before even Emma g- gets in the thing is already if this person uh, ana ku insult at the end of the day if you commit fully kama unasema wako married at some point atakuja kufanya kitu when you least expect my advice will be you guys you need now to like i don't mean to divorce separate for some time or secondly engage an authority figure in this relationship because today we are having crisis in relationship because men we don't have a person we are accountable to and if your person is not under authority can never be an authority over you because this person uh, uh, hakuna uh, mahali to a point where ukimwambia nitambia so and so this person does not even respect you as a human being in the first place wow uh, wow 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 i i hey, this hey, shola hey, uh, emma uh, advise uh, miriam and auliza uh, the husband uh, every time they have an, uh, a problem uh, he insults him until he feels as if uh, she feels as if she is in hell is it a sign that there will be a breakup one day they're married my opinion whatever he says when he's angry that is exactly who who she is to him ana samango kutaka kujua ukweli ana usikiza mlevi ama ama mtu amekasirika but sometimes Because, we, we say things when we don't mean them when we but let me tell you the truth ram when you're angry is when you say the truth for example if you don't want to uh, maybe when you're sober you don't want to hurt me so you will keep on saying nice things but the day you'll be angry now apasana unatoanga whatever has been in your heart have ha, ha, no, have you and your husband ever insulted each other insulted I, i i know i know hapo nimevuka huko but i i cannot call it insults kuna okay kuna kuna insult na kuna kuna reality check so maybe, maybe reality ama ni aje beba akapale nyuma akapale nyuma yeah maybe maybe uh, reality that's what is here um, but, but, again, okay, but, but again it depends but again it depends with how you know for example for us we don't call it arguments or whatever this is like a point of discussion <laughs> you have done this i have done this let's talk about it uh, let's lower our tones or whichever tone we are going to use but at, yeah. but at the end of the day we have to come up with a with a solution Sasa, but we, we have not reached to a point of insulting each other calling each other names no yeah. because the moment you call me a certain name when you're angry then mean that you that's how you perceive me mm. that's how you perceive me nika vile unaona tu ki watch movie I'm saying maybe amefanya tu kitu na kwa watu wametulia. Then one day ana ana pop tu mara moja, anaambia mtu mavitu 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 alafu ananyamaza. So 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 now Emma, um I, I think we, we need to have part two round of this conversation. Uh Emma, I'm asking this question. Somebody who is married and they have an argument. Wana tusiana. Is it a sign that they'll break up? That wataachana siku moja. It depends with someone because uh, as for me I cannot allow someone to to be insulting me and also to be making me feel like I'm not like I have no value or rather making me feel or, or rather in short affecting my self esteem. The moment it reaches to that point I'll I'll just take a step back. Because if I know who I am I will not allow anyone else to define they're, me. They're married. What, what do you mean when you say a step back? What do you mean when you say a step back? They're married. I think let me t- let, let, okay let, let's tell each other the truth. I know I know people use the the Bible code that says that God hates hates divorce but God does not hate the divorcee. You cannot say you cannot stay in a toxic relationship or in a toxic marriage because uh, you know because you want you uh, you want to prove a point. I'll give a good example. My mom. 
I, I remember in my when when I was a young girl, I was very young, but I remember the things my dad used to do, the insults. You know, mm. I, I, I I always remember those things. But now the question can uh, that can come up is, what if my mom still stayed there? Where will I be today? You know. Even okay. I, I even mentally, where would I be today? So sometimes it's good to walk yeah. away. It is better you walk away when you can still walk rather than in a casket. I, I think for the sake of our viewers, uh, for the sake of our viewers, I'm not going to continue with what I had planned to do. Uh, I'm not going to continue with what I had planned to do. Timothy and Ron, I, I won't continue. What I want to do is I'm going to just get the questions from our, our social media handle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because now the questions are so many. And uh, I, I, I can see that someone has taken a, a, a photo of us like a on Facebook. This is Comex Christian and someone tuned in from Rongo. Thank you so much, uh, Christian. Now, let me move to another question. There are so many. This is uh, Maxia Godfrey, uh, of which the question for Miriam will say that uh, she should get an authority figure yeah. to talk to them. Yeah. And then... And if, if that doesn't work, please love yourself more. Love yourself. It is better to walk alive than. Ah, yeah. mm. Maxia Godfrey Nasama. Um, no, no. Uh, this is uh, J Boy Umtili uh, Umtiti too. Anasema. Uh, hello, I'm J Boy from South B, uh, and for sure I'm learning a lot. Thank you so much, J Boy. For me, we had a few differences. Sat down and decided to take a break. From that have learned a lot because the moment you communicate with your partner things flow if you have got different goals learn to accommodate each other and always be there for each other remember we aren't perfect let's always embrace each other love is not one plus one love it's all about ups and downs lows and highs and everything if it's you to take the driver's seat and take the other partner to the destination you have to be sober all right uh -huh. Uh -huh. Let me go to Eric Njoroga and I say, hello, I'm Eric. We broke with my girlfriend two months ago after three years of dating simply because she discovered I had a kid. I accept my mistake, siku mambia, nilikuwa na mtoto. How will I deal with that since nilikuwa nimem introduced to my family and they know her? I'm unable to heal from that heartbreak. I cannot abandon my kid because of her. Let's talk, talk about that. This uh. is... Uh, Eric, what? This is... Oh. Hey, Eric, kapo lichoma bana. You know, it's, it's good to say the truth so that mtu wako accept the way you are. Imagine, imagine it will cost you nothing. It will cost you nothing come to the other person the truth. And if they love you, they love you for who you are. If they don't want to love you at that point, rather than staying with someone for three years, manzo memwestia miaka tatu. Three years is a, it's a very long time. So, so, so it's good to be honest. No, kama mtu anakupenda, Akupende, just the way you are. Kama akutaki, bas. Nasonga. So, imam ya mtoto, um, when the child is in play, always let your partner know that you have a child. Yeah, yeah nukweli. Okay. Let mse mwenye nakupenda. Ukipenda ngombe, penda na kamba yake, manze. Uweze ya penda ngombe, wache kamba. The thing is, uh, it is a sensitive issue, especially the way he's saying. You realize, if uh, you hide your own blood, to this lady, what more can you do? So you give the re you give this lady more reasons as to why she might end up uh, having trust issues with you. So you rather open up, and uh, I don't mean just on the first date you open up about everything because the moment you open up about everything on the first date, uh, when the relationship battle you call honeymoon state uh, honeymoon stage, you will end up losing it. See how this person uh, con uh, conceptualizes information. See their maturity. See their wisdom, and see how and when can you introduce the aspect that I have a child from a previous relationship. But if you are looking at spending the rest of the, of your life with this person, there are some things you might not end up hiding because if you are looking seriously at a point of spending the rest of your life with this person, you will not hide it. All right. Uh -huh. Let me go to Miriam. Miriam mm -hmm. I'm a to add on that. Uh, what was Miriam's case again? The one who's in the husband. The husband. Uh, the yeah, the, the husband is also. Emotional yeah. abuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huyo. Mm -hmm. to add on that, he doesn't listen to me akiwa mekasirika. Hataki umuambie makosa yake. When you are there correcting him, anaongeza volume ya TV. <laughs> Anakuambia, unampigia kelele. Anasikia kama wewe, anasikia kama wewe ni medawazimu. <laughs> 
that's that's already that is a person who is having issues I'm, i don't want to judge so much but that is a person and the man has issues that he has not come to reality with them and does not trust this person they don't look at a point of uh, having a, a discussion committing themselves towards uh, this relationship to ensure that the relationship works so uh, at that point you realize this person uh, for Miriam, she needs to understand that the covenant of life is more important than the, than the covenant of a relationship or rather marriage. All right. You have an input on, the, on that, uh, Emma? Yes, uh, I, I also feel, uh, we're not judging, but I also feel like the man is a bit rude. But also, you can never solve anything when someone is angry. Yeah. Always give it time. Let, let him, first of all, calm down. Also, you calm down so that you can be able to have a sober conversation. Right. But you cannot have a sober conversation when both of you are right. high. Rael Mura, Murangiri Anasema, Anauliza Swali. How can you deal with toxic marriages even after sitting down and uh, talking? There is no change. Just leave. I'm sorry to say that, but just leave. If, if, okay, the kuana, if, 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 what do you do? Because you will end up, you will end up even losing your life. Mm -hmm. You know, right. it's not worth it. Right. Yeah. Uh, 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 for me, uh, she just needs to be careful of what she's tolerating because you're empowering this person on how they should treat you. You are telling them that I, tr I, I deserve to be treated as trash. The question is, with, uh, with the investment you've put in yourself, with the, the value system and uh, the support system you've been having, is it worth for you to continue staying there? If it All is right. worth, make a, a, a right decision. Guys, we are out of time. Yeah. So many questions, so many things to handle, but we are out of time. So this is what, what, what we are going to do. Um, next week, we are going to continue with this conversation about dealing with uh, heartbreaks because I'm seeing people are interested in this particular conversation. Uh, they may not be there for, the, for, for that one, but we are going to see how we are going to do this uh, again next week. Yeah. And of course, uh, a big thanks to Alan Lawrence. Thank you so much for coming, my Thank brother. You. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, Emma, sada sana. Nashukuru sana. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much. I All right. And uh, keep talking to us. Remember, a repeat of this show airs again tonight at 10 p.m. Part two of handling relationships when it comes to breakups airs again next Thursday at 11 a.m. Let's finish this show with a quote. Let our producer Timothy. When love is lost, do not bow your head in sadness. Instead, keep your head up high and head up high and gaze into heaven, for that is where your broken heart has been sent to heal. Do you agree with that? Good one. Tell us what you think about it. My name is Ram Aguko. This is Power Talk. <laughs>